Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Um, hopefully, this is a better follow-up for uh, yesterday. It wasn't bad. It's just... I don't think most people are going to really enjoy it, but it was $3.33, so check it out if you can find it somewhere. Tweet me, baby. All right, so um, today's wine is a Texas wine, and I've got some locals here that really want me to do lots of Texas wines, and, and, and I'd like to do some more Texas wines, but you know, there's this is a national, actually international show, so I try to not focus on one thing. However, saw this a few weeks ago. And didn't get it, but got it this uh, got it last week. This is the non-vintage Wimberley Valley Wines uh, Texas Country Cellars Sweet Red uh, Sweet Red Red Table Wine. Six dollars ninety nine cents. <clears throat> I don't know what the varietal makeup is. However, I'm a I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a big leap here. I'm assuming it's Merlot, and the reason I'm making that assumption is that the website, um, the winery, had um, maybe they sent me an email to tell me what it is in the nick of time. Nope, they didn't. All right, so I mean, I, I mean, it was last minute. I sent them an email this morning asking if they could tell me what the varietals or varietal makeup is in the wine. But anyway, there's a. Um, there is a wine on their website that they do that is Merlot. They have about, I think about 15 wines, 10, 15 wines. Um, none of them mention any varietals between, between reds and whites, um, but they do do a lot of sweet wines. But one wine did say Merlot. So I'm kind of going to make an assumption that's where it, at, that's where it is. Now this is a, the, the actual winery is, um, used to be in Wimberley, or just north of Wimberley, Texas, which is southwest of Austin. Um, they found it in 1983, and um, they had to move their facilities to a place really closer to Driftwood. So they're between Driftwood and Wimberley. So let's see what it's like. So yeah, I'm getting that candiness. You know, this is supposed to be a sweet wine. A bit of candy. sensation of those red hots. Probably shouldn't. Maybe there's a cinnamon thing. Yeah, something like that. Kind of cinnamon-y. Is that a word? Cinnamon-like? Cinnamon-esque? I mean, that's what I think. I think of those little red hots. Those little red hot candies. Interesting. Never had that before. Let's see how it tastes. sweet. I don't know, I'm not necessarily a fan of red sweet wines. They're, they're, they're good, you know, for what they are. I mean, they serve a purpose, but it tastes really grapey. Um, I'm not going to say it's as grapey as, 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 you know, as grape jelly as the very first one I did, the, the Balich from like weeks ago now. Um, it's got a little bit of tannins to it. It just, it's just really grapey and it's pretty sweet. I mean, it's, it's pretty jammy. You know, I, I, I could see, you know, running back over there to the pantry, grabbing the peanut butter crackers and tasting it and have a peanut butter and belt peanut butter and jelly sandwich again. Um, if you missed that, you should look for Balich on the website. Um, it's B-A-L-I-C. I think it was one of the first 20 episodes. So, um, I realize I'm almost at 70. It's pretty good. I don't know. I mean, this is definitely a picnic wine. You're, you've got maybe a barbecue going on, you've got a picnic, you know, you've got a bunch of friends over, you want something that's tasty, 
Um, you're not really looking for anything serious. I mean, th this is apparently one of the most popular wines. Um, it's not my style. It's not something that I'm, I'm really um, all gaga over. But, um, you know, it's okay. Um, I'll give it an 80... 80... Well, let's say 83, but I don't know if I want to go that high. Um, give it an 82. Extra, a couple extra points for being having some sweetness to it. Um, unlike... Yesterday's wine, where I don't think many people will like it, I think more people will like this than I like it, uh, in general. So I, I think, you know, I think I'm kind of going with, with what I, how I would score it uh, for myself, 82. It's not bad, you know, it's, it, again, it will serve a purpose, and I can see, you know, you're bringing it over to somebody's house, they're having a little, little picnic gathering, or you're bringing it to, to, to the park, and you want something that's real easy to drink. It's not going to interfere with. Um, it's not going to overpower any food. Um, it's not you know you're not you're not doing anything really heavy like a heavy Cabernet or you're not doing a heavy Malbec that's sour. I mean, you know, it'll work. All right. So first of all, I think I talked about this was founded in 1983. The place that they founded the winery in is a dry county. So what they did eventually over the years, you know, a few years down the road or actually a lot of years from what I can tell, they opened a tasting room. Now that's cool, they opened a tasting room that isn't in a dry county, 200 miles away in Spring, Texas, which is right by Houston, north of Houston. So I don't know why they did that. It doesn't really say what the reasoning was why they went that far away from the winery, but you know, it is what it is. I would think they would have maybe had the tasting room like in Austin, but maybe at the time they opened it, uh, Houston was a better fit for them. But um, Again, I'm going to say it's probably Merlot. I mean, it's pretty light. I mean, it could be a, it could be a number of other red varieties uh, that are grown here in Texas, but I don't know. Hopefully, they'll send me an email between now and when I post this on Wednesday, since this is Tuesday. Hopefully, between now and Wednesday, they'll I'll get the email back and I'll put down on, underneath the um, underneath the video on, on the links. I'll put down what the varietals are, and um, yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for stopping in. And I uh, hope you are uh, enjoying the show. Remember to friend me up on Twitter. Uh, check out Promo George and his shirts. And um, uh, friend me up on Facebook. We've got the ads. Check them out. You know, you might find something you like on there since I just put them back on the site. Got a lot of new people coming to the website that have never seen those before. Um, if you want to advertise on the site, just let me know. I mean, easily the Google ads. You can take the place of those Google ads or I've got other spots on there. Uh, anyone that wants to pay to be on the site, they'll definitely get a higher billing than any affiliate ads or Google ads, just so, just saying, you know, if you're going to give me money, you're going to have a higher, you're going to have a higher spot on the website, better, better spots. Um, thought I'd throw that out there. And uh, if you're watching this outside of the Vidler website or my website or Blip TV, because um, Blip TV, the little, there's a little link, way, little tiny link in the bottom left-hand corner that will take you to this site. And the Viddler player has the big logo. But if you're watching this elsewhere, like say on i2 TV, which you guys have been great by putting some more stuff up for me, um, come to the site. I've got some more information on there. We've got all the episodes on there. And we've got Summary A School, which uh, I'll be recording tomorrow. Uh, Summary A School, but it'll be out on Thursday. And uh, there'll be the Alsace. So check it out. See everybody again. Oh, excuse me. See everybody again next time.